worship. You know, we come here today to remind ourselves. You know why we assemble on Sunday instead of Saturday? Come on. Saturday yeah. is a Jewish Sabbath. Right. This is the first day of the week. Resurrection. Can Amen. 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 Come on. On Sunday. Come on. Oh, Jesus got up. Amen. Yes, he got up to justify us. Amen. He got up to represent us. He got up to so the Holy Ghost could come down. Amen. Every time we walk through those doors on Sunday, we're reminded Jesus lives. Yeah. So coming and thanking God forms an act of worship. You see, it's dedicated to gladness. Gladness is an act of worship. Ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God. To rejoice, gratitude to our friends and benefactor is courtesy. It's a common courtesy. Yes, amen. To rejoice when somebody gives you something. I, I, I walked into a blessing the other day. My wife called and said, Sister Leola called. And I, I knew, I knew then I was on my way to a blessing. And uh, I told her at church, I said, yeah, well, it's a delicious blessing. Some blessings you wear, some blessings you eat. Uh, I don't think I would get another blessing if I wasn't gracious for the one that I got. She yeah. didn't have to do that. She wanted to do that. It took her a while to do that. It would be very cruel of me not to say thank you for going out of your way and thinking about me. Am I right? When you come, Tony, thank him. Come on, help him, Lord. I, I don't want to ever get to the place where it's said, all right, I'm the pastor, he put on me. And that's not the way I work. That's not the way I want to work. I, I want to... I want to receive every gift. These little children draw me pictures of myself. Sometimes they are remarkable in their resemblance. And sometimes I wish it was true. These stick characters especially would be nice. But it's not that way. If they do their best, they will bring it to me. For you, I said, oh, thank you very much. Because I know that there was another 150 people here. Their mom and their dad, their brothers and sisters, their Sunday school teachers, and out of the whole congregation, they wanted to draw me. They wanted me to see it, hand it to me for you, brother. Oh, thank you. Right. right. Thank you. Thank you. Gladness has to come from a source. It's courtesy when it's done between friends or gratitude to friends and people who make us benefactors. That that's gratitude. That's courtesy when we say thank you. But when gratitude to God is called worship. When Amen. When you come into a sanctuary saying thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Worship. Right? Yes. Amen. When we come with a heart that can't fail but to say thank you. I hated for Brother Gary to go through what he went through, but it was a crisis that changed him. And if he doesn't revert back, you know, if he keeps the same attitude he's got right now, he's like a bubbling tea kettle. Praise oh, the Lord. And just, and just keep waiting for the fire to get up to work whistle. And we know that that's, that's the time when it's all his. You see, but then that gratitude came out of a crisis. He could see himself on the other side cancer, chemo. He's seen the suffering his dad went through and friends have been through. To get the report, none found nowhere. Praise God. So that Hallelujah. You want to say Glory thank God. God. Thank you, Lord. Sister Barb, it could be worse. She's battling. Do rag and all. She comes. Sick? She comes. She comes because that's her way of saying thank you, Lord. Sister Leona sits over there. It could have been worse. Yeah. Others have said here. Sister Tanya sits here. That it could have been worse. Yeah. But we have a God that has taken some of our worst fears and turned them in to a major reason to rejoice. Yeah. Yeah. And we 
ought to be dedicated to the gladness of praising God and thanking God Amen. for the things that He does for us on a daily right. basis. Lord, we have to say thank you for Amen. God's gifts. He daily loads us with benefits. We don't need to live in a booth to remember Egypt and our deliverance from it. Come on, right. All we've got to do is go to the wall. Amen. We're glad we don't hear that cracking whip. We're glad we don't feel that driving oh, fast. Man. I'm glad I'm free. Thank you. I'm glad I'm free. We don't have to push a bottle away. We don't have to turn down a joint. We don't have to dodge a dope dealer. We're free from it. Amen. It has nothing to do with us anymore. Amen. Because Jesus set us free. Amen. We have dedicated gladness. It's dedicated to one person. Oh, save us! Yes, Lord, right. Jesus has come, and my cup overruns. Oh, save us, man! Amen. Amen. Oh, we should help me this morning. You see, one one poet said it this way. He, she, she, in a writing, she said, "Oh, thank God for God." I said it best. Oh, thank God for God. I thank him every once in a while for being who he is. Amen. I thank you for being God. I said, I don't understand you, but I thank you. Right. I'm glad you are just who you are. I'm glad you've got the power that you possess. I'm glad you have the wisdom that you possess. I'm glad you have everything that you've got that makes you God. Oh, thank God for God. Amen. That's where we're at this morning. We're here Hallelujah. to thank God. God's gift. Listen to what the psalmist said. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh, my God, I trust in thee. Oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, yes. all ye people. Yes, Such amen. gladness is not a small thing. Such gladness is not just an emotional thing. Amen. This kind of gladness is not selfish gladness. The Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You shall rejoice before the Lord your God. Praise the Lord. Not only is it an act of worship, it is an act of fellowship. This dedicated gladness is an act of fellowship. All of Israel was told to come. Amen. Every family in Israel was to build a booth. Everyone that was an Israelite was to make this festival. Amen. It was a time when God brought them. Into a fellowship. Right. They moved out of their house and they moved out to the field. And every one of them built a, 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 a branch hut. And they lived in it seven days. And when they come out of the hut, they come out to rejoice. Right. Wasn't that wonderful? Yeah. It was all just to remind them where they came from and where they were going. And that's where we are today. You know what? Back when I was. A younger preacher, we used to have brush harbor meetings. Now, how many have ever been to a brush harbor meeting? See, it's almost a thing we're not heard of anymore. You know what brush harbor means? Did we have churches? Yes. Could we have, could we have bought a tent? Yes. But that was not what we wanted. We wanted to have a brush harbor meeting. So we went out into a field and we dug posts and we put posts in and we run branches across and we interlace the top of it with branches we cut off and we come underneath it and the reason we did it is because we wanted a reason to rejoice. We went back and found the Feast of Tabernacles and since we were not Jewish and under the Jewish law, we had no need of it. But there was that one word, seven days. You rejoice before your God seven days. And you're going to live in that booth and you're going to rejoice before God. Do you hear me? Yeah. Oh, we don't need a brush harbor. Though we have had a wonderful time to see people saved and slain under the power of God in those old-fashioned brush harbor meetings, God came to that. Amen. But he was there for Israel. Yeah, he was. No Hallelujah. What it was out there in those tents, and God instituted this feast when it was in the wilderness, and there was a tent. God said, "Now go take 
cut you down to branches and build your booth and move out of your tent and get in this booth because we're going to stop the march for seven days. And God comes down and stops out in the middle of them and they come out of those booths to worship before the Lord their God. They come out to rejoice before God. I tell you for what God has done for us in a year's time, we're to put 10,000 hallelujahs up. And we ought to thank God for everything He's done. I look back there and see Jeff Hinton back in church sitting there wanting the Holy Ghost and bumping into it for the other churches. I thank God I owe you a hallelujah. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to thank you for what you are doing. I'm going to church this morning to worship before the Lord our God. Amen. And I want fellowship to do it. It's called a convocation. A coming together. Right. Private Thanksgiving has its value. But there's times when we need to do it corporately. One lady said, I came here tonight because I wanted my friends to help me to praise my God. She said, after I come to church, I want somebody to help me. Sister Houston met me out there in the foyer, and she said, I'm going to sing today. Well, it sort of moved me a little bit, but that's the first time in 34 years, almost 35, that Sister Houston said, I'm going to sing today. I like the boldness of it. And I didn't know uh, just exactly what she's going to sing. It was none of my business. She's going to sing for God. I just said, we'll do it. I'm for it. Let's go. Let's worship God. Amen. Let's see what God will do for us. Let's worship God with her. You see, sometimes we need to go to church just to hear somebody on our right hand say, Hallelujah. Somebody on our left hand say, Praise God. normal instinct for a redeemed person to want to worship is perfectly normal for you to yeah, discover is. within you a living fountain. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Comes with rivers. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I want the Holy Ghost in fire. Sometimes I want a Holy Ghost with rivers. Yeah. Amen. I want to flow it out of there. I don't want to call fire down on somebody's head. I want a river that goes out and makes the dry land rejoice. Come on, somebody shout amen. You remember, don't you, when you got up to sing that song and the river came out and people drunk of your water and was blessed? You remember, don't you, amen. when the river broke out and you had a word in season to speak? You remember when the river broke out and you said just two or three words and everybody broke out in the south? You remember, don't you, that will always be the Holy Ghost and fire? Hot time, we need the Holy Ghost and the river. Amen. Yeah, we do. Hallelujah. Well, hallelujah for the Holy Ghost on Hallelujah. Praise well, God. Well, hallelujah awaits another. Amen. That's why I get worried when you get quiet. That's I don't have a lame Jesus. excuse when you say, I'm listening. That's lame, that's lame, that's lame. You know what that says to me? I'm not saying one interesting thing that you can say an amen to. Come on. Help him, Lord. I'm going to put my Bible up and never open up again. Oh, you ever say amen to a whole sermon? 45 minutes of preaching and you don't have anything to say? I don't have a river. I'm not going to fly. Come on. I'm getting to be like a scarecrow. Help him, Lord. Oh, my friend, when you really get a dedicated gladness, you come to church to say amen. Yeah. You want God to hear you say amen. Yeah. You want God to know I'm on your side. Yeah. If that preacher is preaching out of his prayer book and quote to me your scripture, I'm on your side. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what amen means. I'm on your side. But I say hallelujah, I'm saying that I'm still on your side. And I say praise the Lord. 
Praise God. For right. Sister Grumpy and Brother Grouchy will move out of your pew, right. which will be a blessing to you. Right. That way you'll really have fun. Get rid of them. Praise God. Yeah, come on. Hallelujah. Long time. You come on a Sunday morning and you come shouting hallelujah. Right? Praise God. Amen. Brother Hackney, I believe his name was, down there at Roxton. He'd shout. He'd come in the door shouting. You know how he shouts? Like a choo choo train. He didn't come to us that time, did you know what he was saying? He wasn't going choo choo choo. He was going, Woo! Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's the way to come in the house of God. Praise the Lord. Everybody right. turn around and say, Brother Hackney's here. Wouldn't it be wonderful you come in and everybody know who it was when he walked through the door by the sound of your voice and what you were doing? We didn't know he was on yeah, the way. Yeah, bless him, Lamb of God. If he didn't come in that way. But when he came in that way, we'd have all of us smile and say, Brother Hackney's here. That was the way he worshipped God. He had a dedicated gladness. It didn't matter if he was sick. It didn't matter if his wife was sick. It didn't matter if he, if he nobody else wanted him to do it. It didn't matter if everybody else was quiet. He came in with one reason. He had a dedicated gladness. He didn't care. He wanted God to know, I'm here. I'm here. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you called to God? Amen. Thank you, Lord. There is an act of hope. These people are in the wilderness. They're promised a Canaan land. They're promised a home. And out of this tent, out of this booth, into a home. A permanent home. A home where they'll eat and drink and raise their family. Right now, it's hope. They hope one day to get to Canaan. But they act now, as an act of hope, they worship God. For God had promised them the land of Canaan. Bless you, Lord. They're out in the booth in the middle of the wilderness, but they are acting and praising God like they're living in Canaan. Yeah. That's where the good ones used to sing that song, I'm living in Canaan now. Well, we wasn't living in Canaan, neither were they. Canaan is yet the promised land. It's just a problem. But I'm living in Canaan now. Amen. I may not be able to do it Monday on the job. I may not be able to do it Tuesday at the doctor's office. I may not be able to do it Wednesday. Amen. When the bills come due. I may not be able to do it a lot of times when my kids are sick or my kids are out of church. But when I come to the house of God, I'm going to come to Canaan now. My hope, I see a land right in there. My hope, I see a better country. My hope, I see a place where there's more no more. 